All right, Rich, we're here. Um, it's a nice, fresh, early morning. So we're looking for kudu and yana. They're the bush species. The sun's warming up on the other side there, and the animals are starting to move. So I've um, seen a few kudu bulls around in the ca different cars. And one in particular that I like on the other side that we need to go and get closer to. Uh, I know it's the um, first day, but when you get opportunity at a nice bull, you've got to take advantage of it. Oh, I see the horns. Yes, yes, yes. There's okay. three animals. Three animals. He's the middle one with the horns, you see? Yeah, I see him. Okay, there we go. When you, when you right really on squeeze him one into the shoulder. One half. Yep. Oh, what a shot. He's not down yet. Load again. Just load again. Bumbling around there. I didn't see if he went down. Oh, he's gone down now. He's lying, kicking. Yeah. yeah. I think we're in good business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wonderful. Shot. Wonderful. Hey? Yeah. 563. 562. 562. We don't want to embellish the truth here. Okay. 562. No embellishment here, Rich. It's 750, was it? <laughs> Going on here. Wow. Have a look at that, man. What a beautiful bull. Finally came. Get a few photos of your bull, yeah? But it's been a bit of a morning till we had to get him. We were up early and it was nice and fresh. Nice cool breeze this morning and we spotted him from a ways off and drove a bit closer. Fortunately, he was sniffing with the car, so it made our job a little easier and stalked down the side of the hill here to our right. We got to about 500 odd and we ran out of ground. Couldn't get any closer and then <laughs> the gun works. A thousand yards out the box did yeah, the trick there for right. us. No, but Ed did his job. I told him this morning that my number one animal was a kudu. And this is my very first African safari. And he finds me this beautiful big kudu bull by 9.15 the first morning out. And I got it. it this bull weighs probably almost five, 420 pounds. I've never shot an animal this large, a, a horned animal this large. But I hit him right on the top of the front shoulder with the seven millimeter magnum. And the distance we measured was 562 yards. That's him. And the gun work system makes that possible because the rifle itself is a sub half minute. This particular rifle is a sub half minute rifle. But the secret is the G7 laser range finder. This is a computer, not just a range finder. And it calculates the air density and the angle of inclination, it calculates the cotangent, does everything for you. And, I, and we didn't have much wind. I have a wind gauge, I have a Kestrel wind gauge. But this system itself makes this much easier because you don't have to do a lot of calculating. All I had to do was dial on the turret 560 yards. And right there it was, that's right. We only had to hold off about a half a minute for a little light wind. And this bull reared up and didn't even go 10 yards. And I'm tickled to death. <laughs> Two, nine, one. And, and, and walk. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be right at 300 when you get a chance, eh? Take him in the shoulder. 
Oh, is it good? Huh? Is it good? You're gonna go down beyond the bush. <laughs> That's a beautiful sable. You <laughs> <laughs> did perfect. You took the shot. You just went around the bush there. Have a look at this. Wow. Yes, today. Have a look at that. Wow. That's that, wow. Is that not an unbelievably beautiful animal? Holy smokes. Wow. Holy God. mackerel. He is jet black. Eh? Look at these horns, how they carry their weight the whole way through there. While I was sitting in the dining room last night, having a magnificent dinner. And I said to Ed, who is a world-class guide, you see that sable up on the wall? You think you can get me one that good? Why, he says, I believe we can do better than that. And we did. <laughs> this magnificent sable was killed at 300 yards with a seven millimeter magnum that is absolutely thank you to Gunworks. Yeah, so um, we're fortunate, uh, we had seen this guy uh, last week when we were hunting in the area and there's a burnt section of the property that lightning hit last year so he's always coming and eating here and in the late afternoons he's been, there's a water so there's a bit of water and nice green grass so uh, we sort of had scouted him before and so that was why we, we knew exactly where to find this big guy and we had a couple, we had a couple of options places to look but this was basically the first big bull we saw and I knew we couldn't pass him up and so we unfortunately he was in the open and we made a hell of a shot at 300 yards the wind was blowing a bit this afternoon um, but yeah we have a magnificent animal he's got very massive horns and they carry their mass the whole way through he's pitch black he's a grand old man and will look good on your wall back that we've been trying for all afternoon <laughs> they live here on these wide open plains in large numbers um, and they are probably of the most spooky animals around at least here and we thought we'd need all the gunworks had that thousand yard shot but uh, sheer luck really they came to 80 yeah, yards we from almost it. had to shoot this in self-defense <laughs> they were a whole herd was coming toward us so that was, was about over 50 animals coming right up and we were hidden up in those bushes and Ed says, shoot the one looking the other way by the white one. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's only about an 80 yard shot, sir. <laughs> yeah, they're good for all distances. I, I was worried weapons. I was going to shoot the wrong one. <laughs> no, we did good. We got a nice big old male, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wily old critter. Good, man. Good, good. It's a bit of a mad scramble this morning. We were actually heading up to the Karoo and Carl in front of us, they were going to do a few, have a few shots at the range and they've seen this big Nyala bull that we've been looking for for two days. So we had to unpack everything quickly, get everything hooked up and now Clayton's watching him for us and we're going to go and see if we can get closer to him and get a shot. <laughs> All happening at once here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can lay down. Yep. Down! <laughs> 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 
Hey, well done, Rich. Thank you. What a good turn up, my man. Thank you. Right, so it's been quite an eventful Sunday morning. Yes. <laughs> to say the least. We weren't going to hunt today. We weren't. Well, yeah. we were maybe get a hunt in this afternoon, but we came down the road leaving for the Karoo and Carl was at his best panic mode, <laughs> waving us in, <laughs> telling us to get there immediately. And then we changed and we went and got a bit further than we initially thought we would, but to, to get the wind in our favour. and um, It was sort of a team effort. Aaron was there. James was there, two cameras going, <laughs> yeah. four captains, <laughs> one Indian. Yeah. But anyway, at the end of the day, we got the job done with one hell of a shot on a really, really awesome animal. 525 yards. That is going to look excellent, excellent on your wall. Beautiful animal. I'm just, just beautiful. Yeah, you couldn't wish for a better, better wow. nyala, yeah. He's, he's gone, I thought you'd held hold up here in this valley, but he's just gone around the edge, so we'll just go a bit further. We'll hopefully catch him in the next basin. He just little basins like this all around. We worked and worked to get this beautiful impala, and Ed kept saying, he's just right there, he's just right there. And I'd say, I don't see him. And we did that for 20 minutes, at least. <laughs> yeah. The point being, when we finally shot it, was a one-shot kill and yeah. dropped him in. One-shot kill, and 405 yards. Fantastic, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I got him, a, it, it hit him a little bit forward of the shoulder, but it killed him, knocked him right down. Same rifle. Yeah, same rifle, good rifle. Um, he was on his own, yeah, and we've been sort of chasing him back and forth around this mountain all afternoon. But um, finally it started getting, the sun went a bit lower and often they do sort of slow down a little bit and we managed to make a plan and um, Rich made a hell of a shot. Um, <laughs> after some <laughs> explaining and talking and going on. and uh, We went on and on, back and forth, and finally got him. And he was so quick on the draw, not me nor Ozzy was ready for it. So <laughs> you're not going to see it either. Trust us. <laughs> we well, you. I'm an older guy. And every time I'd get ready and see him, he'd move. <laughs> and then I couldn't see him anymore. <laughs> we did good, man. I think it's time to turn in. And it's getting nice and chilly in the career. Yeah, and we'll be back at it tomorrow morning. Bring back that we saw yesterday. Um, we're standing over here with the black wallabies, almost in the exact same spot, excepting we're on top of him now. And if we can just sneak over, we might be able to get a shot at him. But they, the black wallabies' tail is twitching a bit, so they might be on the go. But it's not too far. We'll just go have a little look. Okay. Maybe we get lucky this morning. <laughs> okay, so we finally got him up here for a good photo, man. This is more or less where we shot him from. We just tracked him up to the top so we could get a view of how pretty the Karoo is this morning. 
Very nice springback, it's our national animal, um, not a very big target. 300 yards, they look pretty small in the scope, I'll show you. And we made a good shot, he's a good old buck, he's got nice thick bases, good sized body, he's in good nick. It's a nice time of the year for them, we haven't really got into the heart of winter yet, so um, no, very, you can be very proud of this guy, well done. Yeah, this is a pretty animal, and they're not very big, they're about, oh, 60 pounds. And the wind was tricky this morning. I put the cross here, I estimated it at about a half minute of angle, but that might have been not enough. And I put the cross there, the wind was blowing this way, I put the cross there just before his shoulder, and it went forward of his shoulder and got him in the neck, but I still got him. So my, my record of one shot kills, instant kills is still going. So the guy, the trackers don't have to track, but they do have to haul it in, so. <laughs> but it's a beautiful morning and this is a beautiful animal. Yeah, they're good eating too. So, um, you know, they're good back chefs. We make what we call bulltong jerky out of them, so. Yeah, it will be a nice animal to eat and a very nice trophy to have on your wall. Okay. Well done again. Thank you. On to the next one. <laughs> well, I'm here in South Africa. Welcome to John X Safaris. As you can see by the pool and the facilities, which I'll show you in a minute, are not exactly roughing. This place is magnificent and the food I've eaten in restaurants all over the world. The food here is world-class food. They even do your laundry every day. So we we'll walk in here and I'll show you some of the things that they have in these lodges. It's just beautiful. Not only do you have the, the magnificent weather here in South Africa, which is a cool, dry uh, freshness in the air it's just it's just wonderful it makes you feel good let's just poke in here so you can see some of the facilities this is a nice place where you can come and read there's a over there we're looking at where we have dinners and lunches if you'll pan back over here see mr simba Right here. Life is good here at John X Safaris. So yes, I am enjoying my stay. Yeah. Packed up the camp here in the Karoo. It's early morning and we're heading back to Woodlands, which is the base camp. Um, still got a few more animals that we after and the balance of them are down there but we've had a very successful time up here the weather's been good to us um, it's a nice day again today so hopefully the weather will be the same times are ticking and we need to go and look for something else where we're going to go and focus and see if we can find some blue wildebeest in this flat and see if there's a male there that we can try and get a shot on 600 look we're doing on 600 yep Wait for him to turn nice and broadside before we... There we go. We can hold one and a half to the right. Fast. Load again. Watch him down. Okay, so this hunt's not all about rich. Rhino wanted a blue wildebeest rug and so so we got it. We got to, we aim to please and we got one for her this morning. A very nice old bull. Um six hundred yards on the dot. Five ninety-eight, I think was the last range. Perfect shot through the lungs. He ran a little bit and dipped over right here. Um one shot kill. 
a one shot kill definitely. This is a very tough animal. Um, they're renowned for getting away and running and they're born sick and every time you shoot them they get better and better and better I think. So they are as tough as nails and don't often go down but this guy got taught a proper lesson by the Gunworks rifle. Well done. 400 yards, or, I mean 400 pounds of good eating. Mm. <laughs> Clayton's here today, he, he's been helping us. We had no success with the bushbuck, so we put the pressure on him to find a good old blue and he came up with the good. So well done Clayton, thanks for your help. Man. Yeah, I need Load again, load again. He looked like he fell down there. Watch him. Lady Luck smiled on us this morning and the ram stood for long enough. Rich made a good shot. Everyone was helping. We had good wind calls, which was no wind. We had <laughs> yardage was all right. and um, So we put a good shot in him and we saw him stand for a while and he Dropped a whole lot of blood and we can't see him now, he's just moved into the thick stuff. So we've sent the tracker and the dog around there with the radio and they'll report to us what they see and hopefully it's all good. So this is the reward of almost three days of looking for these bushback. Yeah. And then we got helped out by Randy, Ryan and Sticks. They actually spotted him for us and we had to do a bit of a rush trip on the road. We First we went to the wrong place but eventually we got a Opportunity, we made a good shot on him. He just was hit a little bit forward and went down and the, we had to put the Bongani on the, uh, the mechanic went, which is the dog. They went down into this valley here behind us and got him. He was done by then and the Bongani had to carry him back up, up the steep place here, but yeah. he was shot just behind us there. All by himself. So we did well, but uh, this has been a, this is a hell of a trophy. It's a beautiful old ram. Um, got nice shape to his horns here and boomed down a bit and all scarred up here on the back of his neck and got quite a yellow head for a bushback. They come sort of in different types, a bit of yellow here, but he's a grand old thing. It's a hell of a trophy, a bushback. It's probably one of our favorites, some guys ultimate favorite, but it's a real prized possession to have in your collection of animals. Well done, you've done well with Thank this. you, thank you. Well, Rich, it's been a wonderful hunt that we've had with you. Um, we've had some wonderful trophies have been taken. We've run out of time, unfortunately. You're going to go home tomorrow. Yep. Last day by the fire. Lots of good camaraderie. Yeah. And, the, and the video captures a lot of the excitement, but it cannot capture the cool freshness of the air and the vastness of the uh, plains here, or the sounds and the and the, the the spirit of South Africa is amazing, just amazing. I loved it. This was a trip of a lifetime for me. Well, well, thank you for coming to hunt with us and for being so generous to everybody here. It's much appreciated. Um, we've certainly made new friends in you and Lana and. Maybe in the future we'll do it again sometime. Yes, and together. yes. And if you come to Virginia, you've got a place. Yes, yeah, thank you, come you very here much. And stay with us. But it's been a, a tremendous adventure. A tremendous adventure. You can come on a white table. There we go. <laughs> well, yes, to new friends made, new 
animals taken and travel home safely. We will see you sometime soon. You bet. Cheers. <laughs>